So one of my subscribers, Brian Constantino, just asked me, how do you find a gravesite using a GPS? I mention it all the time in my videos, and I don't always explain in depth what I'm talking about, so if you don't already know how to do it, I can see how that would be confusing. It's like, what am I talking about? You know, I think most everyone knows what a GPS is, but Brian reminded me that not everyone knows how to find a gravesite using a GPS, so I thought I would explain that today for those of you who are not familiar with how to do that. If you visit cemeteries a lot, like I do, or even if you just visit once in a while, it's very helpful to know how to do this. It can save you hours, sometimes days, or even weeks trying to find a gravesite. They're not always real easy to find, and I know some of you have said, well, why don't you just ask the people in the office? Well, if you happen to come to a cemetery on the weekend, especially on Sundays, most of the offices are not even open, so there's no one to ask. And I've been to quite a few cemeteries where they don't have offices. There's just a cemetery, but there's no office. So there's not always someone to ask how to find a gravesite. Oh, and I guess it would help if I said, Hi, this is Steve here in one of my favorite cemeteries. And I just thought I'd take a few minutes to explain what I mean when I say I just used a GPS to find a gravesite or I just added a GPS to someone's gravesite. So what I'm referring to when I talk about GPSs when I'm searching for gravesites is the findagrave.com app that I have on my phone. I also find the findagrave.com website very helpful, and I use it all the time on my laptop when I'm at home. But when I'm out in the cemetery, I use the app on my smartphone to be able to locate the grave. So one of the best features of findagrave.com, at least in my opinion, is that they allow you to add a GPS to pretty much any grave site that has a Find a Grave memorial page on their website. And there are, I think, millions of them. So the way you do it is you download the app, it's free, to your phone. I use an iPhone, so I download my apps from the App Store. Just search Find a Grave on the App Store and you'll find it. And once you have it downloaded and set up, you can open it up, you can search for any gravesite in the world, and pretty much every famous gravesite in the world is listed here. And if it's not, they allow you to add it here as long as you have the information. And they don't just have to be famous graves. Just about any gravesite on the planet can be added and it's free. And once you find the memorial page that you're looking for on the app, if someone has already added a GPS, it'll look like this and will say map it. Which means you can just click on that button and it will show you on a map where the gravesite is located within the cemetery. If no one has added a GPS yet, it will look like this button and say add GPS. You just stand right there at the grave, click the button, and within a few seconds the GPS will be added automatically. I'm a member. I've been a member, I think, for four and a half years or so, and it's free. I love the app, but before you download and start using it, I want to give you a heads up based on my experience using it. When I visit cemeteries to film grave sites for my YouTube channel, it's not unusual for me to spend the entire day there filming. And most of that filming is on my iPhone, which has limited battery capacity. So for that reason, I do most of my research on Find a Grave on their website from my laptop at home before I visit the cemetery. But you can definitely do all of this on the app from your phone while you're in the cemetery as well. It's up to you how you prefer to do it. And I have searched for grave sites on the app many times while I'm in the cemetery. But the other reason I prefer to do it at home, say the day before, is so I don't have to use up the battery searching since I also use my iPhone for filming the grave sites. So just a heads up that using the app while you're in the cemetery can use quite a bit of battery power. And then if you click on the GPS button to actually find the grave, that seems to use even more battery power. And then if you take photos or videos of the graves once you arrive, before long you're going to be out of battery power. I always bring a backup battery that plugs into my cell phone, which has definitely come in very handy quite a few times, but it's definitely not ideal because you're holding on to the iPhone and this external battery and trying to film at the same time. And just to let you know, I have no association with findagrave.com. I don't work for them. I don't get anything from them. They're not paying me to say any of this. I'm just sharing this information with you because many of you have asked what I mean when I talk about adding a GPS or using a GPS to find a gravesite. And because so many people have added GPSs that have benefited me over the years and saved me hours and hours and hours of time, I feel like I want to return the favor. So now, whenever I go to a gravesite that's on findagrave.com, but no one's added a GPS yet, I go ahead and add the GPS. That's what I mean when I say I use a GPS to find a grave or I just added a GPS to a grave. 
how do we survive without this technology in the old days? So I hope this was helpful, and I hope I didn't leave anything out or forget anything. And if you liked today's video, I hope you'll join me in another one by clicking and watching this one here. Until next time, thanks for sharing the memories, everybody.